Today I'll share with you the 10 countries with the greatest histories of all time, a task I took very seriously. If you're surprised by the results, so was I. The top 10 looks different than what I expected before I researched. Remember that while some countries had amazing histories, they may not have sustained it over time. For a closer look at how I came to the results, check out the description or the top of the comments for my spreadsheet to where I ranked the contenders. The number you'll see with each country is their accumulated score over 10 categories, compared against the top 25 contenders. The lower the number, the better. But now to the countries who barely missed making the top 10. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Number 15 is Egypt, and if you thought they would make the top 10, so did I. Egypt scored high in ancient achievements and iconic structures, but not so well in more recent times. Number 14 is Portugal, and I do have to point out that the scores from 14th to 10th place were incredibly close. Portugal scored highly in their roles of early exploration and colonizing throughout the world. Number 13 is Saudi Arabia, the birthplace of Islam. The Arabian Peninsula was a medieval superpower and home to the Islamic Caliphates. Number 12 is Russia, one of the most important countries in the modern era. Russia scored major points for being a superpower after World War II. Number 11 is Greece, and I can't wait to hear the comments on this one. Before researching this, I would have had them in the top five. One of the most important civilizations in the history of the world, some lower scores in the modern ages caused them to slip out of the top 10. So who made the top 10 and which country do you think has the greatest history of all time? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10, Japan. A country I was not expecting to make the top 10 was Japan, who scored highly in late modern history and in science and technology. Japan's success during the late modern period begins with the Meiji Restoration, an event that restored imperial power over the Japanese in 1868. The restoration led to changes in Japan's political and social structure which allowed them to industrialize at breakneck speed and become a powerful nation that was able to defeat Russia in the Russo-Japanese War, take land, most notably Manchuria from China, and be a serious threat in World War II. Despite a disastrous ending for the Japanese in World War II due to the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan was able to rebound quickly and is a major global player to this day. Japan scored well on their impact on the world in terms of science and technology. In the arts, Japan has invented many things from comic books and anime to karaoke. In terms of martial arts, most were created in Japan including karate, ninjutsu, jujitsu, aikido, judo, and of course sumo. They are also a huge world innovator in terms of modern technology. The home of Nintendo and PlayStation, Japanese scientists are credited with inventing camera phones, laptops, Androids, CDs, VHS, the bullet train, and even emojis. I could go on, but I think you get the point. Which Japanese ally from World War II made it to number 9 on this list? Stay tuned to find out. But if you think Japan or any of the countries I'll be mentioning deserves its place in the top 10, be sure to expand on their claim in the comments. I have to leave out a ton on these countries because it's a YouTube video and not a 10 part documentary series on Netflix. Number 9. Germany. Germany mirrors Japan in that they have overcome more modest beginnings to become a world leader in modern times and in innovation. For an area that was historically known for being barbarians, Germans have been innovators for some of the most important inventions in history. Starting in the Middle Ages, German Johann Gutenberg created one of the most important inventions in history when he developed the printing press, an invention that allowed for the masses to get access to books and to learn to read. And read they did. A few generations later, German Martin Luther wrote his 95 Thesis or Issues with the Catholic Church and may have nailed it on the door of the All Saints Church in Wittenberg. Take that, John Tetzel! The questioning of church actions led to the Protestant Reformation, which in its own way led to modern democracy, skepticism, capitalism, individualism, civil rights, and many of the modern ideas that we cherish today, not to mention thousands of denominations of Christianity. In more recent times, Germans are credited with inventing or discovering the bicycle, cars, planetary motion, hot dogs, aspirin, SIM cards, the telescope, Pilates, and Marxism. Now, I'm personally not a fan of the last one, but you can't deny its impact on modern history. Germany unified as a country in 1871 and quickly became an industrial giant. A bit late to the dance when it came to the age of colonization, Germany quickly worked to colonize in part because of the economic flavor of the day, mercantilism. It led to some uneasy feelings among the French and the British. Those feelings exploded due to Germany standing by Austria, who stood by Serbia, leading to World War I. Germany was on the losing side but rebuilt quickly behind he who must not be named, 
Voldemort. Or rather, Voldemort with a funny mustache. Many of his policies were not funny, however, such as trying to take over the world and murdering 6 million people in the Holocaust. Biting off more than he could chew, i.e. fighting on two fronts, led to Germany's downfall, but there is no denying their impact on the 19th and 20th centuries. Germany has reincarnated itself several times in its history. The next country on our list also knows something about reincarnation. Who do you think it is? Number 8. India India is home to one of the cradles of civilization, the Indus River Valley, meaning that they developed independently. A number of religions started in ancient India that are still practiced today, including Jainism, Buddhism, and Hinduism, today the third most practiced religion in the world. The time period between the 4th and 6th centuries is known as the Golden Age of India because of Indian achievements in mathematics, astronomy, science, religion, and philosophy. During this time, the decimal system and the number zero were invented. Gupta philosophers also proposed that the Earth was round, rotating on an axis and created an early version of the game of chess. India also scored high by having one of the most influential people in the history of the world, the Great Buddha. Siddhartha Gautama was a teacher, philosopher, and spiritual leader who founded Buddhism 2,500 years ago. Growing up in wealth as the son of a local ruler, Gautama rejected his position and after achieving enlightenment began teaching Buddhism's Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path. Using the teaching of the great Buddha, Buddhists try to gain inner peace and wisdom so that they can experience nirvana. One of the most iconic buildings on our planet is India's Taj Mahal. Built in the 1600s by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, it was built as a mausoleum to house the tomb of his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal complex is believed to have been completed in 1653 and cost an estimated 950 million US dollars by today's standards. He must have really loved her. The Taj Mahal attracts 7 to 8 million visitors a year and was declared one of the new 7 wonders of the world. I hate leaving out so much, but we have to move on. But before I do, I have to mention one of my favorite historical figures of all time, Mahatma Gandhi. My son on his own channel, The Kid Professor, shares one of his most famous teachings the best. Be the change today! Number 7. Spain in the comments on my Portugal video, there was quite the discussion on whether Columbus was really Italian or if he was actually Portuguese or Spanish. The issue is not as clear as most believe, but what we do know is his travels to the Americas in the name of Spain transformed the world in ways few other things have. Spain ranked as the most significant country in the early modern period, which spanned from 1492 until 1850, in no small part because of Columbus and all that the Spanish did after him. The Colombian exchange began with the Spanish, with many plants, animals, and people moving back and forth between the new and the old world. Spain conquered much of the Americas, most notably Cortes defeating the Aztecs in present-day Mexico and Pizarro overtaking the Inca in modern-day Peru. Due to the riches they received, Spain became the most powerful country in the world during the 16th and 17th centuries. All this fighting led to the Spanish Golden Age between 1580 and 1680. In this period, El Greco and Velazquez painted their masterpieces, and Miguel de Cervantes wrote Don Quixote. Scoring high in cultural impact, there are 21 countries in which Spanish is the primary language and according to Babel is the second most popular primary language in the world. Spain didn't just leave their language, they also left much of their culture with their former colonies. The former Spanish colony Mexico is the original home to one of the two types of turkeys in the world. While that may seem like a random comment, it's all going to make sense in a moment. Number 6. Turkey. In creating this channel, I've learned that reading the comments on other videos and blogs are a rich resource of information. One common fact that I came across often is that many that live in Turkey feel that their history is underrated. And boy were they right. The country that is presently Turkey has been a huge player on the world stage since the beginning. The ancient Hittites of Turkey were a serious rival to the more famous Egyptians. Mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible numerous times, the Hittites were known for their chariots, the early manufacturing of advanced iron goods, and along with Egypt produced the world's first known peace treaty. To help understand Turkey's role in history, I'm going to share a story about an ancient city by the name of Byzantium. When the Roman Empire got too big, it was split in half, with the eastern part becoming the Byzantine Empire. Its capital was Byzantium, which had been founded by the Greeks. Never heard of it? When Roman Emperor Constantine, the first Roman Emperor to convert to Christianity, selected Byzantium as the new Roman capital, he changed the name to New Rome, but eventually it was named after Constantine, changing to Constantinople. If you're guessing what city I'm talking about, that probably helps a bit. 
In case you still aren't sure, under Ottoman rule, Constantinople had its name changed again, this time to Istanbul, which to date is one of the largest and greatest cities in the world, founded by the Greeks, the capital of the Roman Empire, the capital of the Ottoman Empire. There is literally no other place on earth quite like it. Their iconic building, the Hagia Sophia, also scored well. Built as a basilica for the Greek Orthodox Christian Church 1500 years ago, its purpose has shifted as the city of Istanbul has. Originally the central church for the Greek Orthodox faith, when Mehmed captured Constantinople in 1453, the Hagia Sophia became an important mosque. Turkey more than deserves its place in the top 10. Who placed above them? Another former colony of the Roman Empire. Number 5. France. While France scored in the top half of most categories, they really shined in the Middle Ages and their cultural impact on the world. After the fall of Rome, France became a major player on the European landscape. In 732, Charles the Hammer Martel led the Franks in stopping the Umayyad Caliphate's invasion of Europe at the Battle of Tours. It stopped the advance of Islam and preserved Christianity throughout Europe. One of the great people of the Middle Ages was Charlemagne, who was crowned the Holy Roman Emperor in 800 AD. His empire united Western Europe for the first time since the fall of Rome. His rule spurred the Carolingian Renaissance, a bright spot of the Dark Ages. In 1066, Great Britain was invaded and defeated by the aptly named William the Conqueror, who crossed the English Channel from French Normandy to claim the throne left by the childless King Edward the Confessor, who was his first cousin. Needless to say, France didn't have the best relationship with England in the Middle Ages, fighting the Hundred Year War with them, with the most famous person from it being Joan of Arc, one of the most famous women in history. The cultural impact of France is undeniable in history and in the modern times. France, and in particular Paris, has played an important role as a center of high culture since the 17th century and from the 19th century on, worldwide. From the late 19th century, France has also played an important role in cinema, fashion, cuisine, literature, technology, the social sciences, and mathematics. Another cultural giant places just above France in fourth place. I'm gonna get blasted for this. Excuse me while I put my tin hat on and prepare for the negative comments. Number four, the United States of America. In any list I've ever found regarding countries with the greatest histories, the inclusion of the United States always seems to be the most controversial. Most of those that'll disagree with me on this will point out how new of a country the United States is with so little happening there before colonization. I get it. And to be fair, I did not count colonial America when doing the rankings. Those accomplishments went to the English, French, and Spanish. But what is undeniable is the impact the United States has had on the world in the 240 years since becoming a country. The United States scored second in the late modern period and first on its global impact since 1945. The United States were close behind the United Kingdom in industrializing and after some years of attempted isolation became a major player in global politics. Their defeat of Spain in the Spanish-American War placed them among the global giants. Late entry into World War I helped turn the tide for a victory over the Triple Alliance. Their again late entry into World War II was also a pivotal point in altering the war. All the while, millions of people from the world were immigrating there for the dream of a better life. After World War II, as most of Europe and Asia were picking up the pieces of the deadliest war in human history, the United States in the virtually untouched North America became a global superpower, a designation that it still holds to this day, leading the free world throughout the Cold War and being a global influencer in innovation and culture. Is it safe to come out? Now would be a great time to ask you to leave your top 10 in the comments. Are you wondering who the top three are? All three have been relevant in world history for a very long time. Number three, China. China's history has been long and impressive since the beginning of time. In fact, they were the only country to place in the top 10 in every category. It was real difficult to decide which part of Chinese history to highlight. I just hope I do it justice in the little time that I have. One of the few cradles of civilization, ancient China developed independently and is one of the world's oldest civilizations. In 1046 BC, the Zhao Dynasty introduced the Mandate of Heaven. Among the earliest rulers of China, the Zhao established the idea in which a just ruler must maintain harmony between heaven and earth. In 221 BC, Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, ordered the building of a terracotta army to protect him in the afterlife. One of the most amazing feats of the ancient world, there are over 8,000 soldiers, each of whom look different from one another, 130 chariots and 520 horses. What's even more unbelievable is that it wasn't even selected as China's most iconic structure. That designation goes to the Great Wall of China. 
In my estimation, the second most iconic structure in the history of the world behind the Great Pyramid of Giza. Constructed at various times between the 7th century BC and 1644, the Great Wall of China is over 12,000 miles long and served many purposes including protecting from northern nomads, border control, imposing taxes on the Silk Road, and regulation of trade. During the Song Dynasty from 960 to 1279, the Chinese invented printing, paper money, soccer or football, gunpowder and the magnetic compass, making it perhaps the most innovative period prior to modern times. China has been a world giant since the beginning of time and I wouldn't blame anyone for putting them first on their list. So much Chinese history had to be left out due to time, but I'd love to see more in the comments. Who placed before the Chinese? I just hope there isn't another boxer rebellion after we find out. Number 2. The United Kingdom the United Kingdom placed first in late modern history and in its impact on the world in technology, innovation, and science. The British Empire at one time was so large that the sun never set on it, as it had colonies around the world. Colonizing much of the land Spain and Portugal had not in the Americas, the UK dominated much of North America for over 200 years. The superpower of the world for much of the late modern era, they also colonized Africa, controlled India during the late modern period, colonized Australia, New Zealand, and a ton of other places. A reasonable question to ask is how did such a small country control so much of the world? There are a number of reasons. For one, despite the American colonists' issues with them, the people of the United Kingdom had more freedoms than any other people in the world. This allowed their people to gain wealth easier than in other countries, which in turn made the country itself richer. This helped them to build the most powerful navy in the world, which in a time before airplanes really meant something. That sea power gave the United Kingdom a foot up in colonizing, which only made them more powerful. To top it off, the Industrial Revolution began in the United Kingdom, giving them a huge head start in the next phase of history, an industrial one. The amount of innovation that the United Kingdom has contributed to the world is staggering. As previously mentioned, the Industrial Revolution began in the UK and completely changed the world. British inventions that helped trigger it include the sea drill and the steam engine. The emergence of capitalism, a Scottish invention, combined with the raw materials available to them from their many colonies, gave way to having an incentive to produce manufactured goods they could sell around the world. The United Kingdom was also a major player in both World War I and World War II. They had a primary role in ending up on the winning side of both wars. Not counting the things I already mentioned, here are some highlights of British discoveries and inventions. Considered one of the greatest scientists in the history of the world, Sir Isaac Newton had an epiphany when he saw an apple fall from a tree, causing him to write Principa, which identified the laws of motion and universal gravitation which are still relevant, cited, and form the basis of research today. In a move that teenagers may not be happy about, Newton also invented the mathematical field of calculus. Highlights from a very long list of inventions and discoveries include Darwinism, the natural rights philosophy, the internet, antibiotics, the refrigerator, vaccination, steel, the eraser, and the pedal bicycle. I would have kept going, but I was running out of breath. And now for the country with the greatest history on the planet. Can you guess who it is? Number one, Italy. Where to start? Italy placed in the top five in six out of 10 categories. Let's start with the Romans. Spanning from the 8th century BC until its fall in 476 AD, Rome was one of if not the greatest empire in the history of the world. Its fall led to a period known as the Dark Ages, and if that alone isn't enough to convince you of their greatness, they controlled much of Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Some of their accomplishments include the Roman Arch which became a foundational piece of Western architecture. Their aqueducts are considered an engineering marvel, some of which are still used to this day. The Colosseum, built in 80 AD, is still the inspiration for sports stadiums, and Roman law, which is the foundation for the modern legal system. If that isn't enough, ancient Roman civilization has contributed to modern language, religion, society, technology, law, politics, government, warfare, art, literature, architecture, and engineering. Once the Western Roman Empire fell, Europe plummeted into a dark age for almost a thousand years, where there was little to no innovation or improvement. You lived how your father lived. He lived how his father lived. Who helped dig us out of those dark times? You guessed it, the Italians. The Renaissance, led by the Italians, was a cultural, artistic, political, and economic rebirth of civilization. Taking place between the 14th and 17th centuries, it promoted the rediscovery of classical philosophy, literature, and art. Some of the greatest minds in history were from this time, including Leonardo da Vinci, whose contributions are too many to mention. The Renaissance bridged the gap between the Middle Ages and modern-day civilization, 
Without it, we aren't where we are as a global community today. Italy continues to be a cultural giant in so many ways, from cuisine to clothing and everything in between. So there you have it, the 10 countries with the greatest histories. Until next time, thank you for taking time out of your day to learn about the global community.